Hey there, Eric Holland, David Walters Yachts here. And we're gonna take a look today at uh, one of our newest listings. This is a 2009 Hylus 46 named Solstice. And uh, we're gonna go through the boat, go through the systems, and show you some of the unique features of this Hylus. So here we go. Okay, starting off, you can see that uh, the boat is just in really, really great condition. This is a 2009 Hylus 46. This is the second owner They've owned her since 2018, and she has a flag blue DuPont Imron paint job that was done in 2016, replacing the original flag blue gel coat. So the paint is in immaculate condition. The teak is in great shape. The teak steps and the teak in the cockpit are all oiled. And that was all done this spring. See here that we have extended length aft pulpits, and these continue all the way up to the midship lifeline gates. So a great place to grab hold to, especially climbing in and out of the cockpit in the seaway, you can grab right onto the stainless steel poles and set the wire that you would normally see on a lot of other boats. We've got the stainless steel with teak bat rub rail. We also have a teak tow rail, and the teak tow rail was redone this spring. It was stripped and 14 coats of all bright applied. It is fantastic it just glows bottom paint was redone this spring when the boat was fully commissioned for the season we've got a six horsepower to hot suit there's also a west spring high pressure floor dinghy that conveys with the sail uh, both of them are about a year old and they are in fantastic condition sorry the dinghy's not aboard but here's the motor as you can see it is in perfect shape And you can see like the rest of the boat here, it has been very well maintained. We've got year old canvas, Dodger, Bimini, full enclosure. All of that is in new condition. And looking about the deck, there's no gel coat crazing. There's no cracking, especially on high load areas like the turning block here. All the gear, like all our houses, is all top notch. And you look at the derailed vents, there's no pitting, there's no falling apart of the inside paint job. It's all in great shape. The grab rails are Epiphanes varnished and they're in perfect condition as well. We've got two aft lazarettes, one here and one on the other side. And then we have the stern locker back under here. We also have a center line cleat. So it's easy to tie off the boat uh, in multiple ways so you can get to your lockers if you need to. <laughs> Propane locker up here. And we'll continue forward until we come back to the cockpit. And you can see just the detail the Hiles puts into the 46. It has stainless steel trim. It's all in beautiful condition. All the windows are in great shape. These man ship deck hatches also are in perfect condition. No crazing, no fading of the acrylic. Just beautifully well done. Sell the mast uh, with electric furling, and the electric furler was re uh, was new actually this year was replaced. You've got a 2019 mainsail, redone outhaul. And there's also a carbon fiber whisker pull uh, with a Nice blue canvas cover. See the uh, derailed guards right here. Uh, there's nice higher attachment points so you don't have to run your howard. Howard is all the way forward and you can also uh, store them off the rig uh, so they don't clank around when you're at the dock. Uh, the boat is not fitted with a stay sail. However, all the attachment points are there for it. You've got the deck attachment point here and all the hardware is on the mast. So all I had to do is you can add a uh, Dyneema uh, inner four stay removable if you want to, or get yourself a fixed furler just like the head stay, which is right there. It's a Furl X 400 furler. And uh, the Genoa here has a new UV cover on it. So she's also to go for more time. We've got two Lumar Delta anchors with two separate roads. Maxwell windlass with foot controls. You can also control this from the cockpit. Large anchor locker. 
split anchor road wells up here. And then we have our, what we call the sail locker or storage area. There's a wash down pump, there's a life raft in here, dock lines, fenders, and there's a hatch underneath to get to your forward holding tank and to your bow thruster. The color combination here is quite nice and you get the white gel coat with this more of like a moon dust or sand off white. It really pops with the rest of the colors of the boat, especially with the flag blue coloring of the canvas and the hull side. Coming in here to the cockpit, see we've got these nice cockpit cushions that wrap all the way around, including the backrest there. We get Rain Marine instrumentation, three instruments up over the companionway. And then back here at the helm, we've got our chart plotter, bow thruster control, autopilot control, compass, leather wrapped wheel, and single lever engine controls. And there's also radar, AIS, and serious weather built into the electronic system. And there's a repeater down below at the nav station. The engine control panel here uh, was replaced two years ago. So that looks to be in great shape. And we also have two speed electric primary winches and we have our electric main cell controls right here. And at the forward end of the cockpit, you can see we've got this very nice, highly varnished tea table for alfresco dining. And these leaves here are just absolutely beautiful. They're in really great condition. So let's go ahead and down below and take a look at the interior. All right, so walk on board. We'll go ahead and continue on down. All right, we're here in the Salon of Solstice. Now, as we can see, we've got these white ultra leather cushions and they're in fantastic condition. There's no wear or abrasion on them. They're just in perfect shape for many more years of service. This Seabirth right here, this slides out a few more inches so you can get a full person here and there's storage underneath and the water maker it has a spectral water maker aboard i believe it's a 15 gallon per hour we have the ottoman slash extra dining seat right here on this track slides in and out so you can have another person sit at the table you have this cover right here that keeps this varnish in great condition there we go now, uh, this table is in its smaller form right now. There is another filler piece that goes in the middle uh, that has a compass rose. And you'll see that in the listing uh, when it's full and in the dining mode. And this table can also drop down, put a cushion here, and turn this whole area into another berth. And of course, now you have uh, your wraparound dinette here. And we also have, under this settee right here, we have batteries for the engine and generator. And then we have an air conditioner forward and there's storage behind both set tees. And of course, above. And you see we have the louvered hatches on this, house 46. They look great. Air conditioning control, <clears throat> nav station, the second E80 plotter from Ray Marine, Icon VHF, Alpine touchscreen stereo. Uh, our generator control, uh, generator's got 500 hours on it. I'm sorry, the engine has uh, about 1400 hours. And our inverter control and our battery monitor. And then we have over here, our electrical panel. Typical Hylos, just absolutely beautiful and very, very well done. Everything's labeled nicely and protected. And you know, we can even get great easy access to looking behind at everything. You see the quality of the wiring. And as you can see, like every other Hylos out there, it is immaculate. Compare this to any other boat you're looking at and Hylos will win every time. A nav station seat, forward facing nav station with a nice big desk right here. Underneath, we've got an EPIRB, breakers for the winches and in mass furling. And then we have more breakers down here. These are for your main breakers, like your engine, generator, oil change pump, main DC breakers, that sort of thing. We're going to go ahead and step up forward here. We've got a nice hidden TV here flat screen TV. You 
here's the forward Pullman. Now this is a raised Pullman on this boat. It was built with a raised Pullman because here you get some extra storage. This whole piece here actually hinges up so you can get underneath. Uh, you can also get in through here. Open this up and we'll show you what it looks like. Now in this area, um, a lot of Hylas's uh, the later years uh, would have a washer dryer in here. This boat does not have one. However, you could fit one if you wanted to. Uh, right now, it's just a very large storage compartment. So we have some of our water maker filters right here. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. Uh, that's the battery. It's a slimline masterful AGM battery for the bow thruster and windlass, and it has a connection to the house bank at the back of the boat, which are also Astervolt uh, slimline batteries. We have our fuses for the windlass and bow thruster, uh, the cushions for the uh, dinette table when it's lowered into a bed, uh, the cockpit canvas, and then the part of the forward air conditioning system, and of course the mast wiring. But uh, as you can see, it's a very large area with lots of great storage. Uh, you could put bikes in here if you wanted to uh, have a couple folding bikes to take with you on trips, or put a washer dryer or any other major equipment. Uh, above the bed here, we've got some nice storage cabinets, reading lamps. We have a 12 volt fan, grab rails, and of course these great port lights. We have a large deck hatch above, and we have three port lights in this cabin. Up forward here, this is the head up in the bow. We've got storage cabinets behind the mirrors, sink with a Wally stone countertop, flip down bench in the shower area, a few more storage compartments, and uh, we also have vacuum flush heads on this Hylas. So it's a vacuum system, push the pedal down, and it acts kind of like uh, we are on airplanes, sucks out the uh, waste and uh, pumps into a tank. And we also have macerator pumps on board. Uh, a lot of the older houses did not have macerators. It was a manual dump with a hand pump. In this case, we have electric macerator pumps. And these are your breakers here for your anchor uh, windlass and your bow thruster. Uh, and then we have here uh, a separate fan control for the uh, forward cabin. So you can cool it, the compressor up forward uh, cools both the forward cabin and the main salon, but you can control the fan speed up here so you can adjust the temperature. Looking over here on the starboard side, there, just a catch. You can see here we've got a shelves here and it can be a hanging locker. All the large cabinets on uh, the high houses here uh, can be converted both ways. So we've got shelves and we have uh, that bar if you want to take the shelves out and turn it to a hanging locker. All the cabinets that are currently hanging lockers, the shelves are at the owner's home and they all convey. So you can make any of these large lockers however set you want. We've got a little di uh, vanity right here with a little mirror, more storage behind, more drawers below. And then on this side here, we have a nice large hanging locker. There's a great mirror on the back of the forward head door. Okay, going through the galley here. <clears throat> nice, great uh, midship work area. Uh, this is a great spot here uh, if you're working on any mechanical stuff. You've got a great deep sink uh, to take care of parts in. We've got our taps for uh, fresh water uh, through a filter for uh, seawater. Uh, and then we have, of course, our pressure fresh water with a pull-out nozzle. On the outboard side, we have our standard galley. So we have a uh, microwave oven, Force 10 three burner uh, grill, uh, sorry, oven uh, with the uh, uh, broiler, and then we've got our twin refrigerators here with digital controls that are top and uh, side loading. And there are the uh, digital controls right there. You can see that, uh, yes, the freezer is doing what the freezer should, and I believe actually, yep, there's a bag of ice in there, and it's staying frozen. And the aft cabin. Uh, the aft berth has been uh, nicely upgraded. It was a uh, custom bedding and mattress up here, so it's, uh, you know, quite plush and Nice uh, household spring mattress. We have on this side here on port, we've got a built-in vanity with a mirror. We have a fan, more storage bookshelves in the back. And on starboard, we have this little seating area. And then we have a hanging locker behind the door. Nice large locker.
And up on the forward bulkhead, we have another large bureau. Of course, we have the aft head here, another vacuum flush toilet, Wally Stone countertops. And we have a fully separate shower area with a divider from the head, so you can take a shower. Nice and private up here. We have a nice large storage locker outboard here. My house used as a linen closet. Another teak seat to flip down. And then, of course, uh, one of the great things houses are renowned for is the mechanical access. So we're going to take a look in here. Prop this up and there we go. Uh, we've got uh, twin Raycor filters right here with a vacuum gauge and uh, water sensors for the engine. So you can change filters on the go. Generator fuel filter. Of course, there's the engine. And as you can see, everything is quite in order. Everything's been updated as it should. You know, a lot of the original hoses have been replaced. The owner's very fastidious about the maintenance. I mean, just look around. You don't see any like spray or rust or corrosion on this mount. You know, no signs of any kind of water leakage. There's the master volt alternator. There's the engine bank alternator. Fuel priming pump. And in the back there, we can see our Fisher Panda generator with the sound enclosure. And there's access port and starboard on both sides going all the way back. You know, one of the things that uh, you look at on a lot of Yanmars to see the condition of the engine is you look at the at the turbocharger and the exhaust elbow. You look for any kind of rust or corrosion. Well, look at that. That is in perfect condition. No rust, no corrosion. All that is as it should be. So this boat was purchased two years ago by the current owner. He kept it fully maintained. And we expect zero issues at survey. This boat is in perfect condition. I mean, just look at the cabin sole, how nice that is. No gouges, no scratches. This is a 2009 boat. 1,400 hours. She's been cruising here in the Chesapeake for the past two years with one trip to New England. Before that, she was on the western coast of Mexico doing cruising with the original owner. And she is ready to continue her travels. All right, one more thing before we go. Something pretty special about this boat. You look at these ocean air blinds behind us, and these are custom fitted just like that. Open and closed. So no weird draw curtains or things that didn't get snagged up. You know, all the, uh, the four windows up here have these custom blinds. This boat's been really well set up. It's in perfect condition. You know you'd love to have her, so give me a call. Eric Collin at David Walters Yachts, 410-279-3027, or Eric, E-R-I-K, at davidwaltersyachts.com.